I'm going to, okay. Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a gold eye, I think? Like something with gold and then hot pink lips because I have never done that on my channel yet. And this is gonna be like a chit chat, get ready with me. Yeah, so let's get started. So I only have two different bases slash primers that I use for my eyes. So I'm just gonna skip through that. If you guys wanna see the primer base that I use, it's in the other videos. So you guys will see me go from this <laughs> to this. It's all blanked out. So to start off this makeup look, I'm gonna be using the color tattoo um, by Maybelline in bold gold. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a really pretty color. I am going to put that on my lid and to apply that color tattoo, I am using an E75 brow brush. Usually, I think you apply it with your finger, but so this will do, I hope. It's not really picking up when I like dab into it. Why isn't this working? This is bothersome. Or maybe this guy will work. It is the E15 Sigma brush. Oh God. Okay. There we go. That works a lot better. Yeah, just adding that to the lid. I'm gonna add more to the other side. Okay. Now I have no idea what to do for the crease. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go neutral. So I'm just going in with this Coastal Sense palette and I'm going to use that light brown shade and I'm just going to add that color to the crease with this blending brush from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. So just using windshield wiper motions. So just blending that out like no tomorrow and just building up the color. Focusing on that outer corner right now and then just gonna drag that in. I'm gonna add a little bit on the inside. And now it looks too dark. <laughs> it's always fantastic. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with that dark brown color and I'm going to put that in the crease and on the outer V. And I'm just gonna use the opposite side of that Naked 2 brush, the flat side. Oh, what was that? Ugh. Now that I've had the desired amount of brown, we will blend it out. Blending that into the lighter portion so that it doesn't look just kind of like a harsh brown line. Whew, my arm is getting tired. <laughs> I feel like I'm burning off that pizza I ate this morning. Because sometimes having a prosthetic feels like you're carrying a weight around with you. So I feel like I'm burning off my <laughs> breakfast, which is good because I shouldn't have had pizza this morning. I have been trying to eat so healthy. And then this morning I was like, pizza and like a really bad sandwich for you with like mayo and all that good stuff on it. And I was like, I need to have that. So I had it. And I've been eating so freaking good. But that's okay. That is okay. <laughs> um, now I'm going to go in with this Lorac 3D Liquid Luster. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything in this because this is super old so it might all be dried out. I'm hoping it's not because this is very, very pretty and makes everything very, very shiny. We will find out. No, I don't think there's anything in it. It's all dried up. Wow, that sucks. I think I might add some Urban Decay setting spray to this to see if it will loosen it up because I really want to use this. So I will be right back. Okay, so mixed it with the Urban Decay setting spray and I think it worked. I don't know if I, that's like a hazard or something, but we will find out. Awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna use this little lip brush to apply that Laura Gold luster thing. It's an E05. 
It's literally like liquid gold. I love it. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. That's a lot. I don't know what to do now. So I'm just gonna blend that out or like move it around, I guess you could say. If it's supposed to be padded out, I don't know. Add a little bit more because it's starting to look a little patchy because I don't know if this stuff is meant to be blended out. So I mean, if you look at it up close, it's very patchy, but if you look at it from far away, it looks really, really good. So <laughs> I'm going to stick with being far away. I don't even know if they sell this stuff anymore, but if they do, it's all mine. I'm stealing every single one of them. And going in with that same Coastal Scents palette that I used earlier, I am going in with that gold shade and that is going to go on top of that Lorac Luster. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a huge mistake. Why did I do that? Now it's really, really weird looking. God. This is a very bad decision, guys. Probably gonna make another bad decision, but the color that I don't like that I added to this side, I'm gonna add to this side just to even it out. <sighs> Here we go. Honestly, could be worse. Okay, now that that's done, I am going to add a wing. My favorite eyeliner, liquid eyeliner that I always use is uh, drying out. It is almost gone. So I'm going to use a different one. It is the Maybelline Master Duo Liquid Eyeliner in Black Lacquer 500. This is upside down. I don't know how good I am with this. So, let's hope for the best. <laughs> that was a weird laugh. Okay. I think that's all I trust to do with this. <laughs> so, I technically got like the base down. Even though this is running out, I'm going to use this anyways just to sharpen up that outer part and then get the inside and we should be done with that. Okay. Ugh. Now that that is done, I'm going to do my mascara now. This thing has been sitting in my drawers for like ever. It's not open, never used it, it's coming apart. <clears throat> Let's see if I can open this. Urgh. Started off to a good start. Ugh. Ew. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. Ugh, spit. Yes. I did it. Okay. For mascara, I am using using the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom. Bloom. It's really cute. getting this concealer everywhere and now onto the face as always I'm using prime time by bare minerals sorry I said that really weird bare minerals as always I'm using my Sigma stippling brush no I'm using the real techniques stippling brush and I'm just gonna stipple that all over my face Try to get as low as possible. <laughs> okay, now with the same Real Techniques stippling brush, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Lock It Ta Tattoo Foundation. I'm going to mix it with my Revlon Airbrush Effect, which I always use, and see how that goes. I'm going to use the Beauty Blender to just blend all that out, make it look more flawless. It'll do. 
I'm going back in with that MAC Select Cover Up Concealer and I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes. And I'm going to use this Sephora, I think it's just like a foundation brush. So I'm going to add that underneath, yeah, so I'm going to add that underneath my eyes in like a triangle-ish looking formation. Triangle. Triangle. I think I just like formed a pimple while we were doing this makeup in my eyebrow because that makes sense. Now I'm going to go back in with that beauty blender and I'm going to soften up the harsh lines. I think we should be good. Now to set my whole face, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I really like this stuff. It seems to just kind of even out my whole face. And it keeps some of my makeup on for like ever. Oh. That brush is giving me problems. Oh. All brushes are giving me problems. So I'm going to take the Sigma powder slash blush brush. It is F15. use this brush for that purpose. I love that powder so much. It's everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in to the eyes and I'm going to use that dark brown shade again that I used to darken up my crease and I'm gonna put that on the water tight line, water line, water line, and um, I'm gonna smoke that out. That is a little too dark. I'm gonna switch sides of the Naked 2 brush and I'm going to use a blending side, adding that MAC Blanc type underneath so it doesn't look as harsh. That face is so sexy. I get that inner corner and smoke that. Oh! Get the inner corner as well and smoke that out and don't poke yourself in the eye. Oh, itchy. Okay. Oh! For my bottom lashes, I am going to use the Makeup Forever Smoky Extrava Extravagant Mascara. They keep drooling. Okay. This one on the outside is like narrowly. Like, I don't even know if that is explanatory. It just like curled in. It's like Okay. So for my inner corner highlight, I'm using MAC Mineralized Eyeshadow in Ice, and all my brushes are dirty now. <laughs> okay, so I wiped off my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette brush, and I'm going to use that to highlight my inner corners and keep it the... <laughs> okay, now to highlight my cupid's bow. Just to make it look more of like a out because that was sexy. Now for the absolute fun part, the lips. For my lip liner, I'm using the OCC um, lip liner in anime. It's like a hot pink, like Barbie pink. I feel like Barbie. Come on Barbie, let's go party. I messed up. Let's ignore that. Okay. I'm gonna go over that with the Marc Jacobs Love Mark lipstick in Gossip. And again, all products that I use will be linked down in the description bar. So go check that out if you want to. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you guys want me to do other looks. And give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Oh. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, me go!